Hey guys, Cam here from Pocketlint, and this is the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional Hybrid. And for those looking for a really compact, wireless, minimalist, mechanical keyboard, this might just be the one to buy. But it ain't cheap, but more on the price later. As you can see, a big part of what makes this keyboard so appealing is its size. It's a tanky less keyboard, but it goes further. There are no dedicated arrow or directional buttons, and there's no function keys row either. Instead, HHKB has ditched them to give you this really small, fully mechanical keyboard. So if you do want to use your usual function key functions or direction keys, you need to press the little function button along with whichever key you need. You'll see those functions indicated on the front of each key. For instance, the number row on the top doubles as your traditional function key row. And once you get used to that, the typing experience is simply divine. The keys all have a curved, sculpted top, so your finger always finds the center of the key when you'll touch typing. And the switches are soft enough that it's easy to type quickly, but you still get that travel and tactile feedback. It's not a solid, loud click. It's a quiet, reassuring click that lets you know it's doing its business without annoying everybody within earshot. It's clear with this focus on quietness and lightness, and also the lack of directional buttons that this isn't really for gamers who want to smash buttons all night long. There's no backlighting either, and definitely no RGB. But for at-home workers who like a pleasant typing experience, it's ideal. Now for those feeling a little brave, HHKB does offer models without any printing at all on the keycaps. And that might be a bit of a learning curve for some. But we like the balance achieved on this charcoal model with the black printing. It's subtle enough that it's not all that obvious, but means that while you get used to some of the additional key functions, you can at least see what you're aiming for. If you like a bit more contrast, the company does make a classic white model with printed keycaps too. Now to type on it's ergonomic in that it's small size means you never have to move your arms and can generally keep your hands in the same position. The key position is virtually symmetrical with the G and the H keys lining up almost perfectly with the center of the spacebar. It also has three different typing angles thanks to having two different sized legs on the underside. It connects it using Bluetooth and is compatible with both Mac and with Windows. Although in order to kick it into Mac mode, you do need to ensure the correct dip switches are switched on. Those are hidden under a little door on the underside. Now there are also configurations that allow you to do things like configure whether the delete key also does backspace, or you can change the alt key assignment so that the alt button on the left is actually the function control button instead. Pairing can be a little bit complicated to start with, there's no obvious pairing button, so that again is enabled by using the function key. But thankfully you only really have to do that once, unless you want to use up to four different products, which this thing can handle. You get up to three months of usage from the two AA batteries inside, and you can also use it wired if you connect it up with a Type-C cable. But it doesn't ship with one. It's clear then that Happy Hacking Keyboard wants you to use this wirelessly. Now the price, it's, it's not cheap, as we mentioned right at the start of the video. It costs about £260 here in the UK. With that said, the quality of the build and the design make it a hugely pleasant typing experience. It's versatile, it works across all platforms, and looks so cool in this compact, very dark grey. To me, it feels like the ultimate minimalist mechanical keyboard, and I've loved using it. But you'll probably have to be a full-time professional typer to actually get your money's worth from it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, you can find me on social media. I'm at Cam Bunton on pretty much every social media platform going. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.